Now, this is why they don't like people burning stuff outside in Japan. And I got a phone call from my uh, sumo friend yesterday. He says, go to this site, which I've been to before, we'll help clear it up. And there's a lot of steel. What he failed to tell me was that there'd been a massive fire. Now, it says he, he says he can't make it today because he's got an interview with the police. He's got to go to an interview with the police. I said, did something happen? He says, nanka atta. He goes, yes, something happened in Japanese. And this is what happened, a fire. And, <laughs> and there was a load, there was a load of uh, wood here that they took from the other places. And uh, really you've got to be very careful when burning, burning wood, especially when you're surrounded by wood and you've got no water. So uh, it's a wonder that this was not on the news, but it's also told me, but the thing was now, someone's been along and placed a brand new lock on here and I'm guessing that this, the landlord's done that or the police have done it as part of an investigation and poor old Shige is probably in a cell somewhere thinking how did this ever happen how did I get here well there you go well there is a lot of steel there but it's a lot of stinky steel and uh, I don't think uh, as much as I would like to take it I just don't want to become part of their investigation because it would be like stealing evidence. Well, there you go. I'm going to speak to my Egyptian friend and see what he says. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And don't burn wood in Japan unless you've got a license on making food for dogs.